Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking to you about French skincare. I just got back from Paris where I got some stuff that I usually use or wanted to try and so today I'd like to share my thoughts with you and I hope you enjoy it. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing that I always, always get when I get to Paris is La Roche-Posay Serous Inc. It looks like this. It is this uh, blue bottle of magic, <laughs> I would say. I totally love it. It's, um, it says that it's a solution for cleansing, soothing, zinc sulfate solution cleansing, soothing, whatever that means. Uh, to be honest, it's a toner and I use it as a toner. Uh, it is especially good for the skin with problems, so if you have some acne or dehydration, this is really good for that. I have to say that this is my favorite toner and it always helps my skin. Uh, I use it not only on my face but also on my body sometimes. You know, when you shave for example and you have a little uh, irritation somewhere on your body, I always Always use it as well uh, sometimes I treat it as a magical water <laughs> rather than a toner itself but it always suits um, my body my face and helps my skin to put itself together again and you know and and keep on going so it is really good for your skin I would say it doesn't matter what type of skin you have but if you're in Paris second those because I can assure you you would love it and I haven't seen it anywhere else in the world I think uh, it's still available in France. I heard that there might be some available in the UK but it's not like it's in every store so so if you're in Paris get Sarah's Inc. It's incredible and I can assure you you love it. Okay, so the next thing I always have to get where I'm in Paris, it's, the, it's from Bioderma and it's not the micellar water. Um, the micellar water for me is something that I use almost daily and I love it, don't get me wrong, but it is pretty available everywhere I go, whether it's in Poland, whether it's in the States, in the UK, you know, and the Prices don't differ that much for me, for example, uh, you know, the French and Polish ones. So it's not a huge thing to get Bioderma over there. But there is one thing from Bioderma that I always have to get when I'm there. And those are the wipes, the Bioderma Creoline H2O wipes. And they are amazing. Um, they're my favorites. I've tried them all. I've tried the... Neutrogena, all the drugstore ones and the more expensive ones as well and I think those are the best really very simple but they are the best it takes off my eye makeup my face makeup and it just leaves my skin feeling amazing so this is something totally worth looking into uh, while you are in Paris um, right now even though we'll get a lot of Bioderma stuff all over the world at the moment. I've never seen those wipes anywhere else outside of France. So why are you there? Just get them, trust me on that. One of the best brands from a French pharmacy that I totally am obsessed with is called Caudalie and I think you all know Eau de Bite from Caudalie. This one is almost empty because it's the one that I've been using for a few months now but I always have to get, um, you know, some more bottles when I'm in Paris or get the small bottle as well, which I put somewhere I cannot find at the moment, that's why I'm showing you the big one. For me this is a toner, but this is also something more. Uh, for example, when you compare it to Sarah Zinc, both Sarah Zinc and Caudalie Eau de Bite, they're my two favorite toners. They have a kind of different texture, I would say. Um, Sarah Zinc is more watery. And Eau de Bite is more, I don't know, more textury. You can really feel it on your skin and the smell is amazing. Eau de Bite, uh, it gives you this glow. Uh, it smooths your skin. And I also use it on some irritations uh, as Cero Zinc. But I think this product is more special still and it gives you more so I tend to use it for example when I'm playing with my brows and trying to put them in order you know after that it always gets red so I like to spray a little bit of 
or debuté on my brows and it calms it down and the whole face just feels amazing after you use this this is a very special product and I've been over like I don't know maybe 10 bottles <laughs> in my life so trust me when I say that this is a perfect toner yeah it's one of the best products out there I'd say so when you're in Paris or in France or you can get it online try it on you won't regret it I promise M. Royalis or M. Royalis I'm not sure how to pronounce it but this is like Creme Concentré from M. Royalis it looks like this this is this uh, white and blue tube that you probably have seen somewhere uh, online it's one of those products that a lot of people talk about it's like makeup artists and models I think the first time that I read about it was somewhere uh, in an interview with one of the models saying that this is something that always calms her skin and that all makeup artists use it before the fashion shows uh, and it doesn't matter what types of skins all the models have that it's just them all so I was always curious about it and the first time that I got it was I think five years ago uh, and I loved it this is a cream for all and it truly is in my opinion I've never had a problem with it uh, even though it's very textury I usually use it during the wintry autumn months rather than summertime because when I use it when I play it on my face I can actually um, feel it on my face if you know what I mean it takes some time to actually uh, be gone <laughs> and still feel amazing but it is totally worth it it really hydrates your skin and makes it feel great and it is all natural stuff in here so it's uh, shea butter, beeswax, aloe vera, soy proteins and stuff like that it's paraben free so it's really good for you and whenever there are periods of times that uh, my skin goes nuts on me I use Embrellis before I go to sleep and it always makes it better before I wake up so uh, this is one of those products that the hype is totally understandable and get it if you can um, next product that I'm obsessed with is called Omoplasmine it looks like this it's this little tube that you can get at the pharmacies um, it says here that it is for all irritations on your skin I've used it on some scratches or dry patches but the one thing that I always use it on is for dry lips for extremely dry lips you know when there is a period of time when I use all the stuff that I usually use like Nivea or um, you know all that kinds of stuff and it doesn't work at some point and it's like you need a doctor <laughs> even and then I use Omoplasmine and it always works, it's magic. So Omoplasmine is one of those products worth keeping in your makeup bag or your bathroom just for those days when you actually need them. You see something red on your skin and you just, you know, you just need something extra to help you get rid of it or to soothe something. So this is really cool. It comes with the small tubes and the bigger tubes and this time I got a small one because last time I was in Paris I got a big one and it's impossible to finish because you really don't need that much when you actually use it. So um, I would totally recommend that. I mean dry lips will say thank you to you. I promise. Next thing for the lips that I got actually for the first time now in Paris, it's from NYX and it's called Rêve de Miel. I'm pretty sure some of you have heard of it and I have heard of it for such a long time. I've never actually used it and bought it before, but the product is amazing. It smells of honey. Oh, I put it in my nose, doesn't matter. Uh, it smells of honey and it tastes of honey kind of <laughs> and the texture is amazing because it's very very creamy. Uh, it looks like this. I used it a lot actually during this uh, last week and I have to say I probably prefer it during the night time because the texture is really creamy and you kind of feel the residue on your lips but for example today I used it for the day and it's still okay so I'm not I don't know what I'm saying so don't listen to me okay guys thank you so much for watching my video I really enjoyed doing it for you and sharing 
all of my favorites uh, from France with you. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and also uh, write me what your favorites are so that I can check them out next time. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!